Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the still as of yet unnamed podcast, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, this week, our special guest is Joey. He is currently at. I'm sorry, I just forgot your subscriber count for a second. Um. He, he currently has more subscribers than us. Technological issues, everybody. A lot more. A lot more. We're kind of drowning here. Um, so this is a big deal that we got someone a lot more famous than we us on the podcast. We did. Congratulations to us. So, um... I'm not, not sure, sure if famous, famous is, is the word, word but okay. okay. Yeah. Listen, we have 12 subscribers. <laughs> You're considerably more famous. Yeah. So, um, Joey, just for the people, yes. who some, just for the people who somehow haven't heard of you and are still watching our channel, I guess. Uh, what exactly is it that you do? I am a Roblox content creator. At the at this point, uh, I am currently kind of exclusively playing. Happy Legends X. And, uh, I'm, I'm actually one of the top players in the game, game like in the top 100. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. So, um, is this a game with like a, a sort of esports type community? No, not at all. It's, it's got, got a, a Discord, Discord community, community, but not really esports. Um, question: Do you do you stick to PC gaming for the most part? Yeah. yeah. Like, not even just for the channel. Like in general, do you just stick to PC gaming, or do you play console at all? Uh, I mean, I have my Xbox set up in my brother's room, but we never, never really use it. Oh. It's primarily just PC. Huh. Are there any games that you would like to, uh, are there any games you would like to play on your channel, but don't because of technological limitations or other reasons? Um, honestly, a lot of the stuff I don't play is out of, uh, kind of, uh, out of fear that it's not going to perform well. Like, I, uh, earlier today I was recording with my brother, and, uh, it looks like it's going to be a good video, but I'm not, just not sure if people are going to want to watch it. It's, it's always hard trying, trying to do something new if you, if you just stick to one, one thing. thing. Yeah, that yeah. Uh, um, that does make sense. That does make sense. Oh, and trust me, I've had those moments too, but I've also had opposite moments where, like, I thought this one stream was just going to completely flop. I was only going to have, like, 15 viewers, which is, which is good for something on a debut stream, but it's not as good compared to my normal view average which is like about 20 to 25. Oh okay, yeah. that, that was my next question. Um, how often do you stream? Uh, at least once a week because that's the update day for the game. Oh yeah. Oh okay. That makes and uh, and I'm not and I'm one of very few that actually stream the game when it updates. So basically what I do to get a lot of viewers is I wait till all of the other people are done streaming and everyone's going to want to come over to my stream cuz I'm basically the only one streaming. Yeah. Oh, so you you kind of like have a monopoly on streaming for that small amount of time and then you're also the first one to kind of stream about the updates too? Uh I go live with the bot. There's, I basically have one person who's kind of competition, and we go live about the same time. He goes live a, a bit earlier, but ends up ending stream a lot earlier, which is when I start getting the viewers. Hmm. I mean, for this game, I, I mean, for Tapping Legends X, I'm holding 15 to 25 viewers the whole time. Hmm. So. So, uh, you do more than just videos. Would you say that that's kind of important for your viewer count on YouTube to stream on other ser 
other uh, websites? Uh, I mean, it's it's all up to uh, it's all up to you. I mean, I I just stream on YouTube because that's where I'm I'm known. Because when I I was uh, actually I kind of got uh, I wouldn't say popular, but I got known for streaming because I uploaded videos. But then I started streaming this one game. And I was getting like 20 to 40 viewers concurrent, and I was kind of known for for my streams. And I would, I, I, this is like right around uh, when we were uh, like, what is it? So I made my channel back in February 12th of last year, and uh, during the summer, like right after, uh, like kind of like during the last few weeks of school. I started doing really good. My streams were doing, like, really great. And uh, that was because I was streaming basically almost every single day. And it was, like, for over a few hours at a time. Yeah, I've been doing... The, I, this channel I've been doing for a, almost a year and a half at this point. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Um, so, would you say... Um, because from what I understand, you were doing this while you were in school. Would you say that uh, this, your school schedule impacted how you would, how you were able, how often you were able to upload? Uh, yes, and I'll and I'll just keep it short by saying, when uh, the summer came, that's when I really blew up because when was this? Uh, when was the stream when I when I did? When I, because there was a stream where I, yeah, right here, June fifteenth. Uh, this is about a week and a half after school let out for summer. Uh, th I gained like two to three hundred subs just this stream, and uh, I've been really consistent during the summer. Like, let's see. Uh, actually, I was doing pretty consistent uh, during school because. Uh, I'm just seeing, seeing May 14th, May 15th, May 15th again, 17th, 18th, 20th. I was basically going at it almost every single day for like a month straight at the very least. I could go back even farther. Yeah, starting April 26th, I've been going almost every single day for like like a like a, like, a, like two months, two to three months. Oh, yeah, something like that. All the way up until like the end of June beginning of july but uh how did you get started you were just in school and then all of a sudden you were like i want to start streaming i want to start making content and just went out and did it yeah because i kind of figured my once my first channel was kind of screwed like i just probably needed a fresh start and it's funny because this channel started off as a second channel oh yeah i was just gonna play roblox on this channel but, but then, then all of a sudden, sudden I just started, started getting views out of nowhere. Oh. Like, I think right now my uh, my, my, my first video has 135 views. Oh, wow. All right, yeah. So then um, what's your, what was originally going to be your main channel then? I'm not sure if you remember, but I'm not sure if I showed you during, like, because we had friends together. I'm not sure if I ever showed you, but, uh. There's, There's a, a channel, channel called, uh, called Talk Time. So I had multiple names. I think at that time I was still just better. But that channel has like 120 subs. Like 150 or something. Now it's just my YouTube watching channel. Like, this is the account that I watch videos on. So what are your aspirations with your channel? Do you... You're just try trying to keep growing as much as possible. Do you want to make a career out of this one day? Is that the goal? Yes. I'm dedicating my entire summer to uh, trying to trying to make it, which I know seems seems weird because for a lot of other creators, it takes them a couple years. But I mean, if I can get monetized at least and start bringing in something and then keep working at it and working at it, I could probably go somewhere somewhere decent with it. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. Do you have any tips for uh, early YouTube channel trying to grow? And we we one hundred uh, swear this isn't us just milking you for information. 
<laughs> All right. Um, man. Uh, I think the main thing is to be patient, not expect you to upload one video and then bam, you're million subscribers. That's not how it works. You got to be patient. You got to, you got to keep in mind that it's not an overnight process. Because sometimes I felt that way and it kind of, and it just threw me off. Yeah, we got a couple yeah. of things and, uh, done and plans for a couple different series, I guess you want to say we're going to do. Yeah. And uh, we're going to hopefully come up with a consistent schedule and start uploading a lot more and hopefully that'll help out. Yeah, yeah, consistency, consistency is another one. Again, Again like, like I mentioned it, earlier with uh, me streaming almost every single day, day trying to be consistent with streaming really helped me. Okay. Um, so, do you have any, I don't know, uh, stories about a, partic a particular video you like or dislike a lot despite public opinion uh honestly uh, i don't know that's hard hard, hard to say i'd, I'd have, have to actually, actually go, go back, back and look through some of my stuff, stuff. um Ooh. It, it's definitely hard going back and watching some of my old videos like they they, they sounded good to me when i first uploaded them but now i was like Man, what, what was I doing? doing? What, what was I saying? Because I've definitely, over that year and a half, definitely have gotten a lot more confident when talking. Uh, I think streaming also helps with that a lot. Because now you just talk into a camera, but you're actually like talking to other people, which helps with that uh, communication aspect. But I don't think I'd have anything that I don't like or like a lot. Because... My main purpose is just to be uh, entertaining or educational. To be entertaining or educational. So you're like trying to teach people how to play these games? Yeah, I try, I, because I mainly like, I'm good at a lot of the games I play. So I, and uh, when I, the first game I ever played, like did really good on my channel that blew me up to 1500 subs. It's called Tapping Gods. Uh, I was one of the top players and at one point the top player and i basically people watched me because i was like uh informational with my uh videos like i like i was gonna do like a playthrough series like tips and tricks and stuff to getting better but i never really got to it but i did always give like pointers and and stuff like People ask, like, what game passes to buy. I'd always let them know, like, what the best stuff is. I actually did make a tier list of, uh, like, the game passes at one point. But I, tr I try to, like, let people know, like, what's the best thing to do, what you don't want to do. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Kind of it. Okay. So do you have any... So you're just primarily doing Roblox right now, right? Yeah, I'm trying... I'm, I am trying to branch out, though. What uh, are you looking to branch off into? Uh, kind of want to, kind of want to expand like into Roblox, maybe even Fall Guys too. Uh, maybe even also reaction content. Reaction content is easy money. Like, I could I could name you one person that like, I could name you a couple people who get better views on their reaction channel than their main channel that has three times or four times the amount of subs. Oh really? Like people just want to see reactions. Uh, what what kind of stuff are they reacting to, or would you want to react? Literally, at one honestly, there's uh this one friend group uh called the Goons, and uh, I want to I react to their stuff because people people that are new to them react to it, and it get, and their videos do decent. But I'm an actual fan of them, so I'm I'm gonna like get the jokes more. I'm gonna like know more inside information which might make the reactions more genuine yeah oh so so they have like a lot of inside jokes and you're watching people react to this content and they don't know the inside joke so they'll just dismiss some joke as not a good joke when really yeah, so, be in the know to get it yeah 
and you're hoping because you're yeah. go, your reactions will be a lot more interesting to actual fans of the series, or I guess you understand one hundred and ten percent. Ah, I see. Um, and so you also said you were gonna try and maybe branch out into other games. Yeah. Other games, yeah, like Fall Guys. By the yeah. way, if if you want a, a group, if you want to get together a group to play Fall Guys, uh, I. I did recently get it, so... Okay, I'm, I am completely down for that. Alright. I, I also have some Fall Guys footage I need to go through and edit, too. Play with my brother and our friend. I, I believe Fall Guys is cross-platform. I do have it on my PS4. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Oh, it is? My friend, my friend, my friend has, has a Switch. Switch. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, have it on, I have it on Switch, too. I have it on PS. Yes, yeah, it's it's, it's cross platform. Yeah, I, I think, think that, that I think that would work. work. Well, I hope that it does. Um. So. Nathan, help me run out of questions. Um. So we've got a couple plans to do a couple different things. Right now, we're doing a um a walkthrough, I guess, or a what would you call it, playthrough game? Oh, a let's play. A let's play. Let's play of uh, Ace Attorney um, and we're trying to be kind of consistent with that and we were thinking about doing a day that we start streaming too do you think those are, do you have any tips for those or do you think those sound like good ideas uh, I'm, I'm just looking at it you, you might, might need might, might need to cut the, the, the video uh, length in, in half yeah. <laughs> I don't know I just yeah. don't see People, people watching, watching it for that long. Exactly. Being yeah. interested. We did, we did record another episode. We did, the length is like half. We d Yeah, we did an episode. Today, okay. Or recorded an episode. Because then that should, that should hopefully be able to give you the opportunity to upload more. Yeah. And people are going to see, oh man, this this person uploads. Yeah, that too. That kind of, that, that's sometimes what deters me from uh, making a video or editing. Is the, the fact, fact that, that it's like, like an, an hour long and we have, have to go through it a couple of times just to know what I need to keep in and leave out. If we're doing a yeah. podcast, uh, do you think an hour is a good amount of time? I mean, it's it's all, all down, down to, to if, you're, if you're if you're willing, willing to go, go like it's, it's how far you want to go with it. it. I, I mean, mean, an hour is an hour is kind of the minimum, but it also can be the maximum. It all it all depends. It all depends. I I think uh, yeah. I think one thing that uh, I've I've definitely one thing that I kind of think and correct me if I'm wrong but one thing I think is that you kind of need to start out with shorter length videos smaller yeah. videos so that you can go over them figure out go over them again without spending too much time. And then once you're more experienced, once you kind of know what you're doing, you can branch out into longer videos because then you'll, like, know what to keep in and what not to keep in, stuff like that. Yeah, that's kind of a mistake I made with my, my first my first video was 22 minutes, 45 seconds. And uh, I still have a tendency to do a lot of pausing when I speak. So And that video was unedited, too. So it was literally just raw footage. Like, like, I think I, think I legit just, just like, uploaded the OBS file to YouTube, YouTube made, made the thumbnail, and just uploaded it. I don't think I had anything in the descriptions or anything in the tags. Yeah, I, uh, the descriptions are something I struggle with. If you go in and try to watch either of the videos currently on our channel, they're not completely unedited, but I probably should have done more with them. Uh, but yeah, no, it, uh, it seems like your, it, it seems like your channel is going well. Is there a favorite game you're currently playing on the channel? I mean, probably Tapping Legends X. I mean, I mean, literally every day I'm getting, I'm getting like content for something or enough to make content at like the end of the week. Yeah. So... You had, but at this point, it is an AFK type game. Okay, so you had like a big, I guess a big break, if you want to say it, in the way where you gained a lot of subscribers quickly. 
So are you like consistently gaining some now, like at a slower rate than at the big boom, but like still consistently gaining subscribers then? Yeah, I'm actually in a uh, kind of a rebuild process because uh, that that game that blew me up died. When I mean died, it lost its players because uh, it had just a bunch of like really bad code, and they are doing a rewrite. Which, which took, took a few months, months and by the time they got everything right, because they didn't get the rewrite uh, done the right, they didn't get it done right uh, the first two times, but on the third time, it was good, but then they just stopped updating it. Because the thing is, with that game, the owner of that game uh, is a YouTuber with two million subs, and his, his goal is just to make a bunch of games. Like, you want to make a bunch of games. So he kind of stopped focusing on that one. And working on a, a lot of others. So he went for more of a. So then, in that, that time, time. Approach. Well, he he. This game went went good for a like two to three months, but but then just stopped. And then then I stopped getting a lot of views on videos, and I had to start finding something else to play. But then that's when I realized the most popular game on Roblox for it at the time would come out but i wasn't the videos weren't doing that well looking back at them now they're they're in the hundreds but like when they first came out they were just not doing well at all and uh kind of been in a rebuild stage but i'm consistently gaining subs now that's good like i was literally up until like two months ago uh i was at 2070 subscribers for Literally half a year, because uh, I would stream, gain a couple subs, but then they would end up unsubbing, or other people would end up unsubbing. I mean, if I kept all my subs that I've had, I'd probably be at like 2,500. Yeah, that is a lot. That's a good amount. Yeah. But I've, def I've been, been more consistent, at least weekly streams, and then a video during that during the day but i definitely did start uploading a lot more it's not perfect but it's getting it's getting closer uh uh like kind of every other week but then there's sometimes where i'll upload once a week it's hard it's it's if i feel like recording and then because then my brain likes to say like, man this video is not going to perform well you might as well just scrap it it's not gonna it's it's you you did sound good in it no one's gonna watch it no one's gonna like it you might as well just give up on it, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Hmm. I mean, maybe you have a bad video here and there, but you've got a lot of subscribers, so that evidence to me that would say that I, your videos are probably pretty good. I would think that, you know, hopefully that would encourage you to keep going, even if you don't think it, the one video you're working on is so great. Yeah. Yeah. And then you upload that video and it does poorly and then you just want to delete your channel. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Who, who do you think your main, like. Target demographic is. Tar target demographic, thank you. Is. Uh, I, I, I would like to say is, I mean, any, anyone. But considering Roblox is more of, uh, I wouldn't say a kids game, but more of that like younger preteen demographic. That's kind of who it is. Like, that's who watches the videos. But I mean, anyone can watch them. I mean, there's literally adults that play this game, like play games on Roblox for videos, and will watch it too. No, that's that's definitely true. So, um, so, but since it is mainly kids who will watch these videos, have you had any struggles with uh, Kappa or anything? No, actually, it's helped me a lot to become a lot more family friendly. Like, I mean, I don't really swear during videos, but sometimes like it'll come out during streams. But I try to keep that away from videos. You think that's a smart idea? Do you think that's something we should probably adapt? I, I honestly, I mean, as you, if you keep it tame and you don't say any of the no-no words that YouTube doesn't like within the first minute, minute and a half, like, 
try and stay away from like the first first couple minutes of the video because that's basically like where the YouTube moderation bot like looks through. Yeah. I think yeah we we could. And if you do it, just it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think a lot of things are probably going to be, in all honesty, more tame than our Ace Attorney series. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a murder game. That's probably not something oh, you're going to oh. be watching. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, do you have anything you're working on outside of videos that you're interested in a passion project of sorts not really actually no i can't say there's anything i'm uh, yeah not not really youtube's kind of been my main focus because uh i don't know how i was able to do it last year but i was able to balance school and uh youtube but i was just not able to do it this this school year i think a lot of it had to do with uh being in person for school rather than being at home so i was just Man, it's like, when, when I, I got, got home, I was like, man, I do not want to record, I do not want to stream, I do not feel like doing anything, I just want to sit back and relax, but, uh... So, this is just kind of a question I, I personally have, but how yeah. did you feel about online school versus in-person school? Because I've heard a lot of people complain about it, and I, for one, am very shocked that people are upset about it. I loved it. I mean, I got my highest GPA. Throughout high, high school, school that year. Yeah, oh, yeah. Me too. I'm not sure if it was just because uh, I had I had art two times a day for the whole entire school year. Because that was kind of the main thing I lacked was the art credits. And uh, you've had Tim before, right? Tim! Yeah, we love He's so... Yeah, he's so... I mean, I mean, you, you literally, literally just had to put in effort, effort and you'd and you'd pass. Yeah, and nobody wasn't going I mean, to put in the effort because it's Tim. You don't want to disappoint Tim. I remember he uh he had, for a while he had this like little after school uh Google Classroom for uh just like hanging out, and uh it was kind of like a lot of it was just playing Among Us because that was like when it really started taking off, and there'd be like group for a bit but yeah, yeah it, it was really it was really cool, cool. It, just, it was it's nice that he's lenient with, with grades yes it, it definitely was would you say you preferred online school over in person i mean i, I don't see that's hard to say because it it's not that i don't like it but then you just get used to it and then you forget what it was like the other time and then you start missing your friends like you're the only one that I had added on Discord. I never, I didn't have Neil or uh, Ethan or RJ or anyone added on a Discord. It's like, there's no way to connect with them. So that was kind of nice about getting back to school. So I really didn't have anyone, didn't have any friends outside of school rather than a couple of YouTube buddies. Oh, uh, I have a quick question. Oh, yeah. How tall are you? Oh my god. Oh, uh, have you, you measured, measured yourself, yourself recently? I I haven't checked in a while, but last I checked, six seven. Damn. Yeah, you you are considerably taller than Ethan now. He's he's about six four. Oh, yeah. No, I passed six four. Wow. And I'm six and I'm six one. All right. Well, um, thank you for taking time out of your day to speak with us. No problem. It was, it was nice, nice getting, getting to uh, uh, connect, connect because uh, it's been it was been a while. Yes, it been a long, long while. It has. Also, thank you for helping me practice my interview skills. I feel like a lot of a fe I feel like a lot of the time when I ask questions, they're all the wrong questions. So it was nice getting to practice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, All right. Thanks. No problem. Talk to you later. All right. Well, we will talk to you later. All right. All right. Goodbye. All right. All right. All right. Well, that was episode two of the yet un as of yet still unnamed podcast. Thank you.